Right, so in the last video we got started with uh, auto scaling and we configured auto scaling as well basis on a certain timestamp. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about backups and restore, majorly how to configure backup on Azure uh, for our Azure Web App Services. So let's get started. Uh, so whenever you have your application and connected to your backend services, could be your integration or could be your uh, databases, you the important part for an administrator is to make sure that there are backups being taken regularly and because of any of the disaster or any uh, unforeseen situation uh, which which kind of corrupts your data or your application is not highly available so backups and restore feature in azure app services comes by default you don't have to write any custom script um, and lets you easily create uh, backup of your apps manually or you can schedule it automated fashion as well that every night at 6 p.m whatever standard time your backup should be triggered automatically and snapshots are then retained up to an indefinite amount of time you can restore the app as well to a snapshot to uh, of a previous state by overriding the existing app or restoring to another one uh, what gets backed up so majority of the stuff your app configuration your file content your code bases uh, and even if the database connected to your application as well what are the database supported uh, sql uh, azure database or mysql postgres and mysql app as well there's certain requirements before we get into the demo i wanted to um, make sure that you're aware of that um, the requirements uh, and implementations are that the container which needs to be uh, wherein all your backup would be sitting the storage account needs to be in the same subscription to so make sure they're in the same subscription uh, uh, it only again supported by a standard premium and isolated so the free and the basic version are not supported when it comes to backup uh, it doesn't support the DLS encrypted data and uh, uh, and uh, yeah that's about it I guess um, you can take up to 10 GB of data uh, beyond that you will get an error so you could always take a partial backup of your data beyond 10 GB so without further delay let's get started so um, backup is not configured at the moment you could just simply go to the backup on the left hand side beneath the setting of your app click on the backup is not configured it's going to ask you for a storage account if you haven't got any storage account in this case i haven't got as well i'm going to create a storage account where all the backups are going to be sitting into code red um, web app yeah, this name is available uh, want to make it uh, standard uh, pretty generic one should suffice our requirement and that's going to initialize the de um, the the deployment so make sure you have got your uh, storage already set up and uh, that's where your all your uh, files and the backup uh, data would be sitting in uh, what are the primary backup data it's majorly uh, the zip files of your code uh, and the configuration and all the uh, DLLs uh, generally so um, if you've got your go code with all your test scenarios and all your application file the images from where it's coming from uh, all the uh, configuration app level configuration uh, it the zip contains and the XML and a backpack file as well the storage account is created I'm going just going to select the storage account um, I'm just going to create a container as well app service backup click on create and that's been created i'm going to select this container and yeah that's been selected i'm going to schedule uh, i can give a schedule as well that every day uh, perform backup every one day you could put an hour as well uh, for the sake of simplicity i'm going to keep it as a days starting from today um, after like what after like 20 minutes so I'm gonna give it as 20 and retention days you can keep it as long as you want generally you don't keep it forever so give it a time set 30 days is a generally a uh, decent timestamp and then a backup database yes if you have any connection string in the back backup database a connection you could do that as well hit on save and and yeah that's about it you could always download the backup as well the backup is going to be configured after a few uh, minutes and then you'll be able to see that the you get a notification as well okay backup configured schedule backup going to be started in next few minutes 
and it's gonna happen every day so as soon as you have your snapshot you could just uh, go ahead and restore that as well so while our backup is being triggered in the back end after a couple of minutes what you could do is you could also uh, so there are scenarios wherein you don't want to back up everything you, there are some files folders static images uh, lock files which you don't want to back up in this case what you can do is you can exclude those files and folders from being stored into your backup to exclude that how do you do that you go to your um, URL and then probably you could go to your Kudu console as well uh, just to give you a recap how do you access your Kudu console uh, hit type in SCM and then you simply type in slash debug console at the end of your URL and in between your URL there's going to be SCM and if you hit enter it's going to take you to the Kudu console and from here you could just SSH into your Kudu console and this is where all your application and your um, your application code is sitting uh, that's where my all of my code is there you will be able to see that okay this is my code the Terraform files their app file if I just app cat it it's gonna give you the the hello world which we've used um, uh, so yeah, that's where all of my code is sitting uh, if to exclude any files and folder from your backup what you could do it uh, pretty simple you could just create a backup dot filter file now my file gonna be backup dot filter and you could just start writing whatever images or whatever con content you w don't want your backup to be triggered for so let's suppose I don't want uh, underneath my site I don't want the requirement text dot text to be backed up so what I can do is I can just type in hit on save and you would see that it would have a backup dot filter now whenever my backup would be triggered this particular file would be would be uh, would not be backed up and I can I can do it for other files and folders as well Just above 421 and uh, you would see that the backup is now in progress um, it started at 420 uh, December the 28th uh, based on the amount of data you have in your app uh, and your database the more amount of uh, time it's going to take to initiate or uh, complete the backup in our case it's going to be pretty straightforward it's a hello world program uh, so it's going to be uh, within a few uh, minutes uh, the backup should be there uh, and you could just restore the backup right from there or you could just periodically have a snapshot um, snapshot restore as well so you want um, by the way this feature is in preview still in preview um, so not recommended to use in production however you could just get your hands on and see how it kind of works so uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple now once you have got your backup over here You could simply download the backup um, Locally as well um, And you could initiate a backup from here as well Manually and then you could just click on restore and the restore is gonna ask you which backup do you want to restore you simply click on uh, Okay, this is the um, backup snapshot. I want to restore and That's about it. Uh, the backs backup generally contains the uh, a zip file XML which contains the manifest of your uh, zip and uh, the backpack file if you go to the storage um, if you go to the storages storage account and if you go to the code red web app and underneath it if you go to the blob storage um, containers and inside it you would see that okay this is what it has backed up logs xml and a zip zip has got all your uh, contents and you could simply download it locally as well that's about it i hope this was informative and important piece of information for all the folks who are kind of uh, look forward for automating their backup and restore processes i hope this was informative i'll see you all thank you